And welcome back guys. So we're gonna be building on some more houses. I'm getting the lighting system set up. Like it is bonkers the stuff I'm getting done right now. So let me turn off my street lights and housing zone one and base lights. Let's go ahead and so we're gonna have a small Jenny here. So if it wasn't for the test Jenny, this is probably a lot harder. If it wasn't for the um, custom stack sizes in this server this probably would be a lot harder to maintain so first of all let me get some food, mm, food. so I think we're gonna be working on this part of the light up full street lights um, when it becomes nighttime uh, want to get a couple of houses built over here and then we can start working on the lightable street houses or lights do something different with the house back here. Um, I don't know how expensive this would be, but what if I made it so that the house there, uh, it's usually three by three. utility room over there anyways. I'm gonna move this stuff out of here. Move it to the other side. Because I can. I can hook my electronics up to it. I'm trying to minimize space. So now I can put a utility, um, I can put a test genie in there to light up buildings on this road if I want to. Uh, that's what you see over there next to that bridge. I have it so that there's a utility room over there. I'm wondering if I should have a house facing outwards this time.
about to mess around and find out if this is remotely possible. Guys, we're pressing how much that TC can handle. I'm still gonna have a, that little module thing that goes on top of the TC, so I know how much is in that one. Set up at some point. gonna move my vehicle this way just so want to check tool cabinets for this road we just made this road stone so looks like it's gonna be fine I still gotta get that bridge over there accessible so they can put boats down here but we're getting there it takes time I have four and a half boxes of stone Something like that. A lot of this came from trading, a lot of this came with me going out and farming. I brought like like half just half of one of these for just metal ore and sulfur. What else do you need though? I'm guessing you're gonna need metal. Oh, you need wood. Let's go limit it. Get rid of some of that witch structure stuff. I only put doors on the ones that have electrical ran in it already. It just prevents people from flipping the switch on and off again. So, what I've done with some of the houses, some of the houses have electricals where the door has doors on them. 
So I'll show you in a second here. So for instance, uh, it's going to be this house over here. This one has electrical. So let's say, oop, I already have the electrical fully off. So I have a controller somewhere. I'm going to go find it again. <laughs> Where I can turn off the lights. Like, so that kill all power for the electrical system. All right, let's say I want only the porch lights out. So this little area here, I just, oh, give some options. Let's say they want the interior lights on. They can. And if someone left their lights on, I can just turn the power off the entire system. So you ask me, how is that possible? How did you do that? Well, see all that green wiring? It goes down here, and there's wires going over the damn place. I wish there was a better way to hide the wires, but... Eh. Yep, it's all controlled by this. I still have... This right here for circuit covers two houses. So... I've got another two there I can cover, and another two I can cover. Yep. You guys gotta see this place at night, it's kinda cool. So I've got two big houses there and you get filled in. Someone finally bought this one here. Got the hotel over there. I gotta get some shopping districts up. I need to go get me some more gears. Coming along nicely though. Alright, I gotta go see what this tool cabinet wants. Going to guess it's gonna want more stones. There's still wood somewhere. that structure there, okay.
Alrighty. Let me see if I have a smart switch in here. No, I don't. I gotta go make one. Fun, fun. Every time I go to stream or record video, I always have the urge to sneeze. So if you're wondering why I was pausing, that's why. I'm just gonna leave this sitting here. I'm gonna go get me some tech trash, set up a smart switch. Uh, let me just double check to see what else I need. Okay, so I have this. Two. Headlamp. It's gonna get dork. Alrighty. Having a car makes it so much easier. But unfortunately, I have to go all the way down to the actual base and get the uh, thingies. That's where all the food comes from. Then I need a quality metal. I'm gonna make three because you never know. So I need to go and get more tech trash and gears. Set up so that unit will move the stuff from one location to another, so whatever they're paying to get from there. The kitty cat decided to act up now. Alrighty, so we're going to need lights. Let's go over right here in that tool can range. Do, 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 do. Need ten of those, ten of those. Let's do ten of these. I like to do certain gaps of those. I'm gonna sit here and let those craft for a second while I go close windows. Be right back. Ooh, that room got cold quick. I had to go close the windows, it was raining, and <laughs> it was just awful. Anyways, so we're gonna be hooking up the electrical room here today. Uh, there's Jenny in there, good. All this really does is applies power to the roadway, and sometimes some side buildings, that's all it really does. But I'm gonna try to do this video here so that guys kind of get to see what this place looks like at night. 
So let's get boogie in. I like to put the light on the four corners. This way we know we're covering all four corners. Best way you can. Each one of these lights is one power, by the way. So, use one power, which is nice. And it has our right coverage. When a TC is maxed out on upkeep, and you can't really add any more upkeep, I just seal the tool cabinet. It's only gonna last a certain amount of time before purge day. It's literally, in, usually it's like 8 to 12 hours before, you know, force wipe. They know it, it's called, it's known as the purge. I only leave enough to last up to that day. After that, everything just starts falling apart. They're probably like, yay, they're finally putting lights over here. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not lining up with lights down there, but close enough. Probably. I watched someone walk all the way down this road just to go buy charcoal. <laughs> so I know people are buying from the shop over there. It keeps going empty faster than I can re resupply it. <laughs> I watched someone drive their helicopter through here, and none of the lights were on yet. And he's checking out all the buildings that are being constructed. Oh no, I'm into those lights. Let's uh, go back this way and get some more lights. <laughs> I'll stand over here, I'll go fast. Alright, I gotta figure out what wiring do I want to use for this one. Uh, let's see here, so we are going to want... Smart switch. This to purple. Alrighty, let me go ahead and name what this switch will do. Looks like we're going to be doing streets. Three lights.
this is going to be running lights. So, now, I need to figure out exactly if I need to get me... Um, like a way to extend the power over here or not, so I'm about to find out. It just gives you a little bit of light to kind of see what you're doing. Just trying to tuck that into the bottom a little more, but it's it's fine. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. <laughs> so must be someone must be reading one of those readable bases nearby. Definitely going to have to do a um, one of these. So I'll hide the fire like that. Best for ability. I got an idea. Okay, so about here. So I'm going to run the wire on the other side. So by putting the electrical branch there, I'm basically transferring power from one location to another.
originally I was going to put a generating unit there, but I'm able to extend the lights so far, I might not even need that anymore. That's where the red lights come in. So we need to do one there. Turn the lights on in here in a second. Uh, just gonna wire this up real quick. It's not perfect. Close enough. So what does this all do? Makes it so anyone that's driving a boat at night can actually see what the hell they're doing.
You try wiring this in water. It's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. You're like, ew, look at where he put the wire up there. It looked disgusting. Real pain in the ass to get this shit to kind of look nice. I'm gonna head up top and then I'm gonna turn the lights on. So. Yep. All these lights are on remote, so. I gotta finish those street lights for that one side there, but. Are you ready? Let's see this place light up. It's not fully done. I want to light up a lot more, but uh, one thing at a time. Primary street lights on. Street light two. Street light three. Hotel lights are on. Housing is on. Main base is on. That's a lot of work, and I still have to finish putting the lights on that section there. But that is a hell of a sight to look down at, seeing all that turn on at once. And guess what? Based on how I've done it, it doesn't lag. <laughs> That's a surprising thing. People flying over, wow! Look, it's got lights! Think about this during the purge, though. I just do this. Just... Beam, 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 just disappear. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. <laughs> He's trying to see what's going on there. So I got a got a street over there. I got to light up still. But yeah, we were able to light up that entire roadway on the left side there, along with that bridge, with just one strain of lights. It's just coming off of one power source. Yeah, so, you know what I'm up to. I'm going to be building some more houses. I'm going to set up some more electrical. Try to get all the roads lit up and everything behaving. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.